is Sistine, the principal of Heritage High School. I want to thank you very much for allowing me to say a few words about um, one of our very special teachers. Miss Linda Allen was a teacher for us for quite a few years, many, many years. We, um, she started out in our special education department and then moved into our social studies department. And I'll tell a little bit about that story, but I want to first of all say for the last six months, we have begun to heal as a faculty after having lost one of our very own. The holidays have come and gone and I can't think of anything um, more stressful or, or, or painful than for a family to have to go through the holidays after having lost a family member. And that's kind of what we did here at Heritage as well. Linda Allen came to us from um, w just full of, of wanting to be a teacher. She was a special education teacher when we opened and, and just did so much, was, was so special for the students in our, in our classes. She had very small classes and was very good with our most needy students. But she came to me after a couple of years and, and requested to move into social studies. She wanted to be a social studies teacher and expressed to me three years in a row that that's what she wanted. And every year I would explain to her that, yes, I would very much like to move you into social studies. Mr. Moss, the department chair for social studies, also uh, wanted to, to bring her into their department. But we were also every year in need of coaches and we needed to look for social studies teachers that could also coach one of our sports teams. And you know what? She understood that. She, she expressed her interest, but at the same time understood the big picture of school. But there came a year that we didn't need a new coach. And I brought her in and I said, is this still something you're wanting? She said, absolutely. And I remember asking her, why exactly do you want to do this because you are so good working with our special education students? And her answer was, I just want to impact more students. I want to be able to touch the lives and share a part of who I am as a person and a teacher with more students. And that was a tell-all. That said a lot to me. I shared that information with Mr. Moss and together we decided that she would come into the social studies department. Her compassion for students, her love for teaching and what teaching is all about was contagious to her, um, to her peers in teaching and also was very uh, evident to her students. She also worked very hard with Quizbowl and that's where we saw her competitive nature. She very much believed that kids could could do well in a, in a setting where they could be tested against the academic knowledge that they had and, and put that up to any school in the area and found success in that area as well. I want to take this opportunity to also introduce to our students and our staff that in the coming months we will have a rain garden erected across from the entrance of the gymnasium and we have won a grant from the Illinois watershed and that grant has provided us the opportunity to work with the Illinois Watershed and Linda Allen's sister, Teresa, to and our environmental science classes to have a rain garden here on our campus. We are very grateful for the grant. We are very grateful for the direction that we're receiving from the Illinois Watershed, but we are very most grateful that they are allowing us to dedicate the rain garden to the memory of our teacher Linda Allen. Linda was very, if, you, if I can use the word earthy, uh, loved to give back to her community, uh, recycling, um, just taking care of her community, her classroom, her students, her friends. Um, and so she would be very honored to know that we will be giving back to the community in the form of clean water through a rain garden and this will be dedicated to her. We started that project on the 12th of December and continuing it through January and February with an architect designer for, for the garden. And then we'll start planting in March and April. 
and uh, it will be with plants indigenous to Arkansas and with her sister's help, plants that uh, Linda uh, liked as well. And then later in the spring, we will have an all-school dedication of that rain garden uh, to Heritage High School and then to the memory of Linda, and, and I'm very excited about that. I'd like to take this opportunity to personally thank the broadcasting department, the, the students in the broadcasting class who came to me with the idea of a feature story about our own Linda Allen. They came because they knew her and they wanted to find a way to honor her legacy at Heritage as we've all been, been doing as well. And this is, I just want to say thank you because we have, we've learned so much from Linda over the last few years and she would be tickled to death to know that students are using her memory to learn new things, especially new careers. And so I want to I want to thank you. The compassion of our students and our staff in this time where we have have learned of of her passing and yet have been able to lean on each other for growing and healing through this is certainly a circle of compassion that Linda would have have very much appreciated. Again, thank you in memory of our Linda Allen. when we came here to Heritage High School and we were uh, very fortunate and blessed that in the time that we got to know her that uh, she was just an incredible worker for our students and there is there's nothing that she wouldn't do for her students the, the, the long hours after school having study sessions the, the countless hours that she spent uh, planning quality lesson plans and then just on, on a personal level just what she did and just the connections that she made and um, I know this last summer when uh, I went through her classroom and we were boxing up some of her personal stuff there was just letter after letter after letter of former students that had you know told her thank you and thank you for the contributions in her life and and when I, I cleaned up her classroom those uh, thank you notes are still in a box because I just could I had a hard time throwing any of those away but um now, I, I, I knew that Miss Allen was going to be a special teacher because before she ever came into social studies, uh, she actually did special ed for many years, and she did, uh, she did English, and uh, I just know her special ed students um, just performed at a much higher level, and I knew that when it came time to, uh, to uh, get her to coming into social studies, there was not a doubt in my mind that she was going to do a fantastic job, and, and immediately we stuck her into AP where, where she just excelled and her students excelled, but um, the, the, the lasting legacy that Miss Allen is going to have are just the, the friendships that she had with her colleagues, the friendships that she had with her students, and, and, and if you have any doubts about that lasting relationships. Uh, you can still look today and see some of the comments that were made on the uh, the sidewalks, the chalk, when the students came up here in June, and, and all the wonderful stories and thank yous that they wrote to her. And some of those are still on the wall. Many of those uh, still remain even weeks and months later. Hi, I'm Miss Ellenberger. Um, I was um, a friend of Miss Allen. She was actually the first friend I ever made as a new teacher here at Heritage High School. Um, she was my best friend for four years, um, and I wish that she could have been my best friend for the rest of my life. Um, what made her a great teacher was how much she cared about her kiddos. If you ever were blessed to have Miss Allen, please know that you were truly and deeply loved. She was one of those teachers who would stay here till like seven or eight or nine o'clock at night grading papers, making good lesson plans, doing anything that she could to come up with an idea that would make a better education for her kids because she truly loved you guys and she truly loved her friends and her other coworkers. Um, what made her a good friend was, I mean, the same thing that made her a good teacher, how much she cared. She just was there for people and she loved them deeply. Um, also her sense of humor. <laughs> Probably my favorite thing about her was how funny she was and how quirky she was. She was a, a weird person in the best possible way and she could just make anybody smile. Um, 
the type of impact she had on RHHS, um, she made our school better. Like we were better people when we were around Miss Allen because we wanted her to be happy and, and she made people happy by caring about them so much. So her legacy will be how much she cared about her kids. And I think that's obvious in the fact that so many teachers and community members came together and have um, established scholarships um, in Miss Allen's tribute and students have made art pieces and they are making music pieces to her and just remembering Miss Allen every single day. Um, we miss her and love her every single day. And she was a beautiful person and she was very loved and I was immensely lucky to have her as a friend. No, no raves? No what? what? You're not going to go to like any parties or anything? Yeah, it's, it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit, so I can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know me, John. You know me. All right, thank you, Miss Allen. <laughs> <laughs>